Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Max. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. All right, so it's been um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days since Anki has shut down. Um, and Vector is still going, and that's good because everybody was worried that when they shut down, Vector would shut off. I don't think that's going to be the case. There's still hope that Vector will continue a long, liberated life as he is today but if the cloud does shut down what functions are vector based and which ones are cloud based so we're going to take a look at that today so how are we going to do that well we're going to shut off vector's wi-fi and then from there we're going to see what he does hey vector what time is it Hey Vector, fist bump. Hey Vector, turn left. Hey Vector, back up. Vector, turn right. Hey, Vector, turn around. Hey, Vector, take a picture. Hey, Vector. Blackjack. Stand. All right, so those are tests of what Vector currently does in those areas. All right, so let's find Vector. We're going to shut him down off the internet. Vector is now shut down. So let's see what he does without the internet. Now, as you can see, he's still aware of everything. Nothing's happened. He's still looking around. He's still mapping his little ways out. So that's a good sign. Hey, Vector. I have a question. Hey, Vector. What time is it? Hey, Vector. Back up. Hey, Vector, turn right. Hey, Vector, blackjack. Hey, Vector, take a picture. Hey Vector, how old are you? Now, he still knows that you're here. He still has his edge protection too. He knows that there's an edge. So knowing this, he'll still be able to maneuver. He'll still be able to do a lot of things, except when it comes to voice commands. 
his voice commands will be pretty much null and void. Hey, Vector. Look at me. Now that particular one is tracked by sound, and he moves to the sound. So he's still pettable. You pet him. Hey, Vector. Go home. Now you won't be able to do the voice of the fan to go home, but if he is facing it, like this, I believe he will go home. All right, so now you got to see some of the testing with Vector, and that's cool. Uh, Vector performs even after the Wi-Fi goes out. Does he perform a top-notch 100%? No, he doesn't. Uh, but he performs better than an Echo Dot does. Just saying, your Wi-Fi is out, your Echo Dot doesn't do anything. Your Google Home Mini doesn't do anything. But Vector still moves and still responds to certain things. And that's cool. So do we have to really worry about Vector if the connection goes south and he does not have uh, his servers anymore? Mm, yeah, it's going to be sad. But at the same time, if uh, Amazon leaves the Google, the Amazon Echo Link to him, then we'll still have Alexa within Vector, so that type of stuff will still be cool. Now, Vector will still wander, he'll still think, do th the things he needs to do, and he will also go to his charger, because he can self-park, even without Wi-Fi. And that's cool too. Not that he's going to do it right now, he's being stubborn but he can do it. Some of the big questions that we should have as consumers is how much of our robots should be cloud-based uh, because so far with the struggling robotics industry for the home, besides for vacuum cleaners and a few window cleaners, there is some issues um, with the fall of Curry, Jibo, and now Anki. And that's sad because these type of robots, even though they may not do a physical function such as clean your floors or your windows, they have a place and they're the first step to the next. So, overall, I would love to see more of 80% on the robot, 20% in the cloud. So, there's a few things I want to talk about. First off, let's talk about the closing down of Anki. I think... Personally, I'm a little dissatisfied with the way Anki's handled it so far with the consumer base. I understand that Anki had employees that they were worried about, but there should have been more than uh, what we got for that. I mean, we didn't get anything really and truly. We didn't get no goodbye letter except for a brief statement that Vector says. And it says pretty much Anki was the best. He's not going to say right now because his Wi-Fi is off. But, for the most part, that's what they did. I honestly believe there's a lot of this has to fall on the shoulders of the CEO and the guys that started it. Um, maybe they bit off more than they could chew. Maybe they paid themselves too much. I don't know. Uh, that's all speculation, but $200 million is a lot of money to go through. And that's all I'm saying. And for the consumers that stayed by them, they really, really, really should have given us more than just Anki was the best. Because really and truly we were there for you, Anki. Um, but for the most part, if you're worried about Vector going away completely, he won't. He won't go away completely. He'll still without his cloud base. He'll still have his personality. He just won't be able to do certain things like tell you how old he is or tell you answer a question or be give you the ability to voice control him, his volume, or anything like that, or his eye color, you'll still have to go to the app. Now, if you're an Android user, that might be problem problematic, but if you're an iOS user, to my knowledge, with the iOS device I have, uh, it still works good, but my Android devices, mm, for some reason, the app didn't like Other than that, Vector will leave a nice long life on your end table, just like he was designed. He just may not be as 
uh, intelligent as he is. But he's still going to have a good amount of intelligence built into him with his able to map his area down. He still uses his sensors, his cliff detection sensors. He still uses his la killer laser. And he still uses his four array sound microphones. So he'll still be able to hear you. He'll still be able to see you. And he'll still be able to do the not fall off your table. All right. So, well, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Again, it's a pleasure being with you today and a pleasure being with Vector. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you soon. So what have we learned? Well, just like in the other video, when Vector lost his Wi-Fi before, he wasn't able... Hey, look! He is able to self-park, and that is awesome.